Hello everyone, it's Mr. L. Just want to take a few minutes here to show you how to get Pixlr, which is a similar to Photoshop kind of software, on your Chromebook. So first, when you're on here, you're going to go up to the right-hand side and click on the three dots. You left-click on the three dots, you scroll down to More Tools. Under More Tools, you go to Extensions. That'll make this screen pop up. As this screen pops up, you go to the upper left-hand side, these white bars on the blue on the blue uh, bar. Click on that and go all the way to the bottom to open Chrome Web Store. Here, you can search. So if we just type in Pixlr. Oh. And you'll see, I want you to go to Pixlr Editor. And click on, and when that comes up, you click Add to Chrome. Yes, add the extension. And now you'll see up in the upper right-hand corner here, you'll see the um, icon for an editor. So if you, if you now click on that, that will open up. And you've got to scroll down here to Advanced Pixlr E. Click on that. And here's your first page would come up. If you're going to create something like this commencement cover, you're going to create new. And this gives you all different sizes for the, uh, for the web, for Instagram, for all kinds of different things here, Facebook, things like that. What we're going to do, first, I'm going to get rid of this junk. And again, here, we'll call it commencement. Oh, I'm typing on the wrong keyboard. Commencement, let's we'll say 2020. Then if we go down to here, I told you guys the size is going to be 2100 by 3000. And you're just going to hit create. You want a background? We can make it a white background. Then we hit create. And there you go. That's your background to start with. So again, I just want to get you started. This is how you do it. I will try to post some more videos that will take you even further, but you'll notice this looks a lot like Photoshop. A lot of the same tools. If you click on them and play with them, just like I did with you in class, I'd let you have a day or two to play with the different tools I was teaching you. Um, that's what I need you to do now on your own when I uh, give you these assignments. Take some time and play with each one and see how similar it is to Photoshop. All right. So with that, I'm going to call it a video, and we will uh, talk to you soon.